Can't you go any faster? Hmm? <laughs> yeah! What's the matter? You are supposed to be pushing, not leaning on it. I was pushing. Puffing and panting, yes. Pushing, no. Are you sure the engine won't start? Of course it won't start. I was like another regular that was going to crack. Perhaps hitting that tree had something to do with it. That was an accident. It could have happened to anybody. Who was leaning out of the driving window, ogling a young girl with a skirt up to her bottom? <laughs> I thought you might have been able to show me the way. More than likely, when I have had enough. What do you mean, I have had enough? I do not think it behoves the Lady of Breeding to spend Sunday afternoon shoving a clapped out car about. <laughs> There's something, George. <laughs> oh, there you are. Where you been? I thought you'd pack it in. I have spent the night with the Colonel. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I, I won't say a word. Live and let live, that's what I say. I don't know what vulgar thoughts are going through that vulgar mind of yours, but I have spent the night sitting in that chair. What for? A good nurse never leaves the side of her patient. He might have had a relapse. With a broken leg? <laughs> How is he? Comfortable. What's this? It's the Colonel's bed card. What's he want a bed card for? Oh, they always have bed cards at St. Bart's. <laughs> Mummy, what a load of rubbish. Temperature, pulse, respiration, bowels. <laughs> What's all this going to do with a broken leg? Of course, one couldn't expect an ignoramus like you to understand the medical mind. Please, George, leave the nursing to them that is qualified. Yeah? And when did you qualify? I was four years on awards at St. Bart's. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were a nurse. No, I wasn't. Not exactly. <laughs> Sister? No, not exactly. What were you then? Ward cleaner, but I picked up <laughs> a lot of information during that time, and everybody said I have got healing hands. Yeah, that's quite true. There's very few people hands, with hands like yours. Thank you, George. Only Cassie. Watch it! <laughs> or you will get one of my healing hands <coughs> round your crinkly face. Do you think you could keep an eye on him while I go and get his tray? You're not going to operate. <laughs> his breakfast tray. <laughs> Thank God she's gone. Have you got it? Yes, here we are. Good. <laughs> Thank you. I needed that. Would you, would you care for a drop? I like it, girl. It's a bit too early for whiskey. Yeah, quite right, too. Are you sure you should be drinking this stuff? Uh, of course I shouldn't, you'd have to, otherwise you wouldn't be smuggling it in in a hot water bottle, would yeah, you? Well, I, I don't think you would have overdo it, that's yeah, all. I must have some bit of comfort, must I'll have that if you don't mind. After all, it's, it's your fault I'm lying here with half a hundred weight of plaster on my leg. What's the matter? Get the sheets turned back to him's sake, will you? Well, what is it? <laughs> It itches. Itches? Yes, it's... Where? It's under the plaster, you see. I can't get at it. Yeah, all right, all right. Hang on, girl. Right. Let me have a look. All right, have a look, then. <laughs> now, we'll have to get something to poke down here. Yeah, well, do hurry up. <laughs> Hang on, I'll find something. Don't worry. Right. Come on. I should do it. All right. Right now then, where is it? Down this side. Right. How's that? Bit, bit, bit further down. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. lovely. Oh, yeah. 
It's, uh, I'll be meaning to have a word with you, girl. I, I can't afford it, George. I would if I could. You know that. No, no, no. I'm not after more money. Yeah, well, who is she? What's her name? And no, where no, she no, no. It's not about a bird either. A little bit over to the left. Can you? That's it. That's it! It's about Miss Dragon. Uh, I thought you didn't fancy her. Yeah, well, uh, that's just a point, Colonel. I mean, you see, I find it very difficult to work in harmony with her. I mean, strictly between you and me, she doesn't fit in here. A little bit further down, if you can. That's it! That's it! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not really our type, is she? Uh, I suppose you know somebody who is, right? Yeah, well, now that you mention it, yes. There's this cousin of mine. Cousin? Wow. Well, he's not exactly a cousin. We're, we're very close friends. <laughs> I'm sure you are, George. Just a bit further down, please. Yes, right. That's it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, has she, has she had any experience? You're joking. She's had more experience. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, she hasn't really had much housekeeping experience, but uh, you'll like her, Colonel. She's willing to learn. She's sophisticated, charming, refined. Uh, what does she do at the moment? She's uh, working in the three-minute car wash. <laughs> Out of the question. She's dead up with a chamois. No. No? No. Oh. Oh, come on, George, for heaven's sake, man. What are you doing? You've stopped, man. You've stopped. I know I've stopped. I've lost the blooming needle. <laughs> well, Put one down your plaster. Get it out, man. For heaven's sake, get, get it out. out. Get it out. Just, just let me, me have a look, girl. Let's see if we can... Oh, don't just leave me lying here like this, for heaven's sake, man. Come on, George, for heaven's sake. We'll have to shake it out. All Come right, down a bit. All right, all right. A little more. Okay. Right, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I'll be careful! He's coming! 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 And this is stone cold. No, 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 don't take that away. It's only just been put in. But it's stone cold. Oh, no, it's cold. I like it cold. It cools me down, you see. <laughs> Nonsense. Yes. I'll get you a nice hot one. All right, all right. Come on, Colonel, move over. All right. Well, you're not getting in as well, are you? <laughs> I am nearly right. straightening your body. <laughs> I'll just sit here quietly by myself <laughs> till you finish. I have finished. Oh. Now, come on, into bed. Well, really, I can't bend the leg. Oh, I've got a cramp in my foot now. Look at that. Oh, hurry up, for heaven's sake. Thank you. Yeah, how's that? All right. Uh, how do you feel now, Colonel? My legs throbbing. Oh, never mind. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> a few days' rest will soon put you right. Yes, but how about my polo? I'll send George out for a packet later oh, on. Right. <laughs> That sort of polo, you, you, the other. I mean, I, I was supposed to be playing this weekend. Not with your leg in plaster, you're not. You'll never cock it over the hole. What? <laughs> well, I haven't missed a match for 20 years. Well, they'll just have to pole without right. your mission. Okay. You sit up and relax. Right. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing to me? Did that hurt? Yes, yeah, no, it did hurt. Oh, I'm sorry. It'll take your mind off your oh, leg. Oh, oh. Now, like that. That's better. Now, you lie back and don't you worry about anything. Because I am going to stay by your side night and day until you're better. I feel better already. <laughs> George. Yes, darling, of course, your little boo-boo still loves you. Prove it. You wait till this afternoon. <laughs> yes. I'll pick you up in about half an hour, all right? Tell her. Oh, your little boo-boo can hardly wait. Tell her. Was I interrupting something, boo-boo? <laughs> that was my niece. You must come from a very large family. Yes, well, we were very poor, and there wasn't much else to do at night in Acme. <laughs> you know, sometimes I think you got out of your way to be objectionable. Yes, well, excuse me, I'm shoving off. Not yet, you're not. We're bringing the Colonel downstairs later on, and I want the sofa moving. Right, whether you want it. Over there by the window. Over by the window. No, no, he'll be in a draft there, won't he? This way. <laughs> oh! Right. Now he'll be in a draft from the door. <laughs> Make up your mind. Well, we don't want him to get a chill, do we? Up against that. No. <laughs> Over there by the fire. That's where it was in the first place. Well, you've had the benefit of the exercise, haven't you? Over there. Morning. Here he is, the king of Carnaby Street. <laughs> you a great big tunic like you. Now, look, look at him, man. I've seen your dubbing scent on your face. That was after shave lotion, you twittering old nit pansy. <laughs> now, stop it, you two. What do you want, Ray? Ralph, as in Alf. What do you want, Ralph? I want to show you this. Smell. <laughs> <laughs> 
Me new fertiliser, I'm ready to go. <laughs> One part compost, two a bone meal, and a great big help in the manure. <laughs> Take it out of the lab. But it's good stuff, it makes the roses shoot up. I'm not surprised. I'm thinking of putting it on the market, you know, there's money in manure. Ten bob a bag fertiliser it. You'll likely be able to retire on a blog potful. I made a great big heap of it. I'm just drying it out. Where? In the oven. In my... <laughs> what, you dirty old devil? I've got a stain in kidney pie in there. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know what you're laughing at. It's your dinner. <laughs> yeah, you much-spreading old peasant. Well, you stop it. Yeah. Stop it, the pair of you. Go and get that stuff out of my oven at once. But it won't be done yet. You'll get done. You're going to go and get that out George, the canvas hot water bottle is in the hole. What about it? Well, it's so cold. Would you mind please emptying it for me? It's great. <laughs> and see who that is. Hey, just, what are you doing that for? I'm getting the room cool for the Colonel. Well, it's a major Marriott to see him. Oh, see him in, George, please. Right. Hey, up. Oh, good morning, madam. Good morning, Major. Oh, dear, I, I do hope I haven't called at an inconvenient time. I beg your pardon. Oh, the curtains. Oh, I was drawing them for the Colonel. The Colonel? Good heavens, I have no idea. <laughs> when did it happen? Yesterday afternoon. <laughs> yesterday? <laughs> yesterday afternoon. I, I say, uh, do you mind if I sit down? No, please do. This has come as a bit of a shock. Well, it comes as a bit of a shock to all of us when it happens. But I was only speaking to him the day before. Yes, I don't know what you mean. Yesterday he was walking about just the same as you and me. And now he's up, lying up there. Yes, quite. <laughs> Would you like to go out and see him? No. Uh, no, thank you very much. Well, if you'd like to come back later, we're bringing him downstairs. Downstairs? Yes, so he can rest on the sofa. <laughs> Well, I won't disturb you any longer. As a matter of fact, I only came along to discuss the polo match this weekend. Oh, I'm afraid he won't be able to turn out for you now. No, quite. <laughs> What's that? I think it's the Colonel coming downstairs. God, you're alive. Oh, of course I'm alive, you damn fool. Now, come on, Colonel, you come, come and sit down. You look quite sad. Yes, all right, well, don't fuss me. Well, you take it, him, I'll take the cup. Yes, all right, sit down. Get out of it, man. Well, allow me, madam. All right. Get your sick leg up on there, will you? Yes, And the other one. And the other one, Colonel. There, now you come. That's it, all right. Oh, thank you very much. Just a minute, ready to go. Come back, come back. Here we go. I suppose you came to see me about the... A game this weekend. Yes, now you bit. know very well you cannot play, Colonel. No, I suppose you're right, you see. You see, Reggie, it's the leg, you see. Oh, yes. See what I mean? I mean, I couldn't cock it, you see. No, if I can. No. I'd be all right if I could get the pony to kneel down. <laughs> After all, they do it with camels, don't they? Oh, yes, 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 of course they do. Twenty years I've played for the team. Twenty years this house has been represented. A fine tradition. Now it's broken. Colonel, I didn't know you mm. felt so deeply about it. Oh, yes, my dear, yes. You see, I was a founder member of the Water Lilies. Team work the same, though. Twenty years without a break. Well, I will see that that tradition is not broken. Oh, no, no, my dear. You see, they wouldn't have let you play, you see. I mean, it's <laughs> against the rules, you see. Women aren't allowed. Mind you, if we were to get your hair cut... Not me, you old book, Colonel. <laughs> well, who else have we got, for heaven's sake? Hmm? Well, Colonel, I'm all better. Sure. No, I'm a bit like that. George, come in. No, don't be shy. Come in, George. The Major. George. Yeah, what, what's going on here? What's the matter? What do you know about polo? He's got a hole in it. <laughs> don't be ignorant. I mean the other polo. Oh, that. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Pity. Why? Because you've just volunteered to play this weekend. <laughs> well done, George. Congratulations, old man. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> I have never ridden a horse in my life. Pity. Then you've got just six days to learn. <laughs> now, that 
George, George, for heaven's sake, how many times have I told you? Just use the one hand. It's a polo stick, not a croquet mallet. Colonel Maynard's residence. Yes, is that you, Bert? Yes, I did find you. Yes. It, do you take bets on polo? <laughs> no, not solo. Polo. P-O-L-L-O. -L -L polo. Hang on. Just a minute. Excuse me, Colonel. What yeah? is the name of the team I'm playing for? It's the Water Lilies versus the Cooper Casuals. Water Lilies. You're a water lily. <laughs> Uh, ten pound a win, Cooper Casual. <laughs> you back the wrong team. No, I haven't, Colonel. Hmm? The Water Lilies haven't got a chance. Oh, we got a wonderful team now. Look here, my dear fellow. We got Teddy Witherspoon, DSO and Bar. He's a wonderful shot when he's sober. There's the Reverend uh, Cuthbert. Is his name Cuthbert? Something yeah, like that's that. It, Cuthbert. Yeah. Uh, he's a good one for sixty-eight. And then there's you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're quite right. You see, we haven't got a haven't got a cat in hell's chance. I'll be lucky if I stay on the horse. Uh, that pony. <laughs> Pony, George, pony. Now, how many times do I have to tell you? You've been doing very well this last week, haven't you? <laughs> You've developed in quite a good seat. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's raw. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, don't worry. Sit down, Colonel. It's all right. Oops, the lilies! <laughs> That's all I need. A raving maniac blowing a bugle down my ear hole. Don't worry, George. I'll get them all going for you. I've been practicing. Now, you watch this. Here it is. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? L-I-L-L-I-E-S. Lilies! And then I'll uncurl the banner. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Anna. <laughs> anyway, George, it's nice to have a bit of support. <laughs> Thank you, Colonel. I can hardly wait. That's the spirit. Now, anyway, you better get off now, otherwise you'll be late. We're waiting for her ladyship. Ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Oh, my God. What's the matter, George? Have you never seen a well-dressed woman before? You're a bit late for Escott. <laughs> you look very charming, my dear. Thank you, Colonel. <laughs> you have a look of Mary Lloyd. <laughs> now, you and George make an absolutely lovely couple. Thank you, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I sincerely hope you're not going trumpeting all the afternoon. <laughs> I'm providing vocal support for our George. You're doing nothing of a sort. This afternoon, we are mingling with the aristocracy. <laughs> Casuals, the black shirts make the water lilies and white shirts. And still a very, very even game indeed. And nothing between them. Two and a half minutes left in the fourth and last chucker and still no score. <laughs> and what is that? Oh, there you are, Major. Oh, Mr. Oh, Lovely afternoon for a chucker. Yes, yes, isn't it? Uh, may I introduce Lady Pamela? Lady Pamela Bucker, this is Miss Beck. How do you do? Oh, charmed, I'm sure. Uh, can I get you a drink? Oh, how very kind of you. What will you have? Oh, something like, um, would they have a milk stout? <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll just go and see. Oh, thank you. And look out for the Lord. Russell's helmet slipped over his eyes. Would you care to join us? Oh, thank you very much. Oh, allow me. <laughs> you want a lot of polo, Miss Dragon? No, this is my very first game. Oh. Good Lord, Russell's off. He's on the ground. Oh dear, this is a most nasty situation. Very uncomfortable being here. I hope he hasn't done too much. You live near here, Miss Dragon? Greystone Lodge. Oh, Colonel Maynard's place. Yes, I have the honour to be his lady. Oh, I didn't know he was married. I'm not his wife. Really? I'm not that, neither. <laughs> Up the pass, up he goes, he takes the pass, he comes down towards Lord Oh, Tom! Cheer, cheer! Most refreshing! Who are you supporting? My fiance, Captain Sir Casual. Oh, how nice for him! Play up the casuals! Come on, the ladies! Oh, Skinny George! He's dropped his stick. This is bound to be a foul. It must be a foul. Foul? Well, never! He hit my kill. Well, he should have kept his big head out the way. <laughs> what the hell do you want out there? Nothing! Then deep pipe down. Up the head! Oh! And it's just about half a minute left play. No 
has scored. George shoots towards goal. And it's a goal. It's a wonderful goal for the Water Lilies. George Russell scored in his very first match. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? First time we've won this cup for 20 years. You've got Mr. Russell to thank for it. Tell me once, it was George's goal, the turning point in the match. No, it was when he knocked their captain off his horse. Hey, here he is. Oh, we were delayed. Yes, I'm sure you were. Uh, George, I want to congratulate you on a splendid afternoon sport. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very good afternoon sport.